my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a review of the Good and the Beautiful Math. It's their newer math curriculum, and I'm really, really excited to do this for you. And so I'm gonna be reviewing level two and level three, because that's what my kids are using. So if you enjoy seeing homeschool curriculum, please remember to subscribe and let's get into this video. Okay, I wanna first start out with what it comes with, what the math comes with. So I have level two and level three to show you. So level two, they all come with this book right here. <laughs> And you could buy, I think you have to buy, I don't know for sure. I don't know. This isn't a sponsored video. <laughs> I just love this math and so I'm sharing it with you. And so I think you can either buy or it's available for download if you need answers. But this math is simple enough that I didn't do that. <laughs> but it is an option if you would like the answers and to know what they are. But it comes with this booklet. So this is for the whole you know, year, I guess, depending on how you use it and how many lessons you're doing. And then it comes with this manipulatives kit for math two. So math three looks different. I'll show it to you in a minute. So this one has a clock on the front, which I think is super cute. And then when you open it up, it has a variety of things they might dump out, so we're gonna be careful. So we have some money up here, and then a whole bunch of like dollar bills, 20s, 100s, you know, all the bills there. And then there's a few different kind of dice right here. This one has fractions, Those that one has fractions written out, and this one has fractions in pictures. And then there's a 10-sided die in there. And then it has a whole bunch of these figurines, and these are like, these are heavy duty guys. <laughs> This I picked this up, I'm like, oh, this is heavy. So this is like a little rocket, if I can show you. I might have to just insert some B-roll of all these things because some of them are really hard to see. But there's some different ones here that they use for some games and things like that. And then there's some little pieces. They have stars on one side, numbers on the other. I don't know if we've actually used those ones yet, but we've used a lot of the other things. You know, we've only been doing level two for two or three weeks and level three we've been doing for almost two months so we haven't used all the things yet so that's what's in the math two one and then math three again you have the booklet here for the whole year and then you have this little kit so it's smaller so this one is a little bit bigger like as you can see and then this one is smaller it doesn't have the clock on the front or anything like that. But this one does have this whiteboard on the back, which is helpful for some of the things we do. And then it has the days of the days, the months of the year, <laughs> whatever they're called, they're right here. <laughs> and then like the temperature and stuff like that down here. So temperature at which water freezes at it, when it boils and body temperature, we haven't really used that very much. And then an array mat right here for Multiplication, sorry my throat is making gurgling noises. <laughs> Just ignore that. Now you probably won't be able to because I brought it up. And then it has this, what are these called, tanagrams? I don't know if that's the right word or not. Something like that, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and so all these little pieces, we have these uh, in a whole bunch of wood pieces that's like a Melissa and Doug kit, but this also comes with a bunch and they're magnetic, <laughs> they're magnetic. So you can stick them on, is this magnetic? I can't even remember. I think it is, let's see, yes. So this is magnetic here, so if they're asked to build something, they could build it on here. So that's fun for them. And then we're gonna do measurement stuff. My daughter's been doing stuff with measurements, so this is just a simple you know, inches and centimeters tape. Then it, this one also comes with dice, so this has quartz, pints, like baking terms, gallon on this one. I think we're starting to get into this stuff. We haven't used these yet. And then we have a normal six-sided die, a 10-sided die. And then there's a few pieces right here for playing games. So that's what's in this one. And I love it. I actually love that it comes with this kit. Everything you know you need for the most part as far as extra manipulatives is right here. So when my kids pull out their math in the morning, they just pull out both their book and this, and it just makes it so much simpler that it's not like we're running around or I'm like, oh, what kind of manipulative do we wanna use? Like everything's right here. And then also these are extra. I can't remember exactly how much, not, not too much, but 
For level three, especially, you're getting a lot more into multiplication and they're supposed to be practicing every day for 10 minutes. We don't always do that. <laughs> but we at least try it one or two times a week to do it. So there's flashcards you can buy. I think you can also get these as a PDF, but I just bought them because they're nicer. <laughs> easier for me anyways so they're divided I think into four different sets that they will use throughout their book as they become better with multiplication and have memorized certain terms there's also the option of musical multiplication and I was very very excited about this because my daughter who was she was I want I hate using the word struggling with math but it was hard for her to find kind of the joy in it with the math we were doing before, which is why I switched to this math. But with music, she she just loves music. She plays the piano, she dances all over, like she's, she just, she can feel the music and you can just see it in her. And she remembers things like it's nobody's business when it's put to music. She's definitely related to my husband and not to me. I sing songs over and over again and never can remember any of the words. <laughs> so anyways, she, has loved this it has worked so well for her obviously they're still they're like rhymes so you get the download for this when you buy it and so you just i put the music on my phone and then this is again divided into four sets just like the flash cards you know so we're in set a right now which is this one so she'll pull this out turn on the music and then it goes it has three times three is nine and I think it's like nine monkeys on a vine. I'm not a singer, so let's not sing. But anyway, and it goes through that a few times to help her remember it. And it's really fun and then goes you know, through a whole bunch. And it has little rhymes for all of them put to music. And the hardest part for her is just kind of remembering the right numbers. Because <laughs> there's several numbers that can rhyme with what they're giving you, you know. But she's getting a lot better at it. And again, just something that works well for her. You know, this might not work well for your kids and this might not work well for all of my kids. My oldest would hate it, honestly. <laughs> he would not want to sing the music, but my other kids would actually probably really love it. So just find something that works well. And I liked how there were several options because you can practice multiplication with this. You can use it with this. They just have sheets you can fill out. And I think you can print out more, make copies of them. So there's lots of different ways according to what your kid needs and what how they like to learn. So I thought that was a great addition. So when I saw this as an option, I was like, we're definitely buying that. And so this is, whoop, we're gonna drop them all. This is an additional thing, but if you want to buy that or if your kid loves music, it's probably a really, really good idea to get that. Okay, the last thing I wanted to go over was how the lessons look for these different levels. So level two lessons are usually two to three pages and level three or three to four pages. You know, it makes sense because one level is higher than the other one. And I love the way they're formatted and laid out. And depending on your child, it might take longer and even recommends Sorry, the sun has not been out all week and now it's gonna come blazing through the window right now. Anyways, and so uh, some of them recommend if your child is going a little bit slower paced, you can split the lessons in half. It usually takes my daughter, who's in level three, about 30 to 45 minutes to get through a lesson. But my son can finish them in like 15 minutes. You know, because he, his words, math comes easy to me. <laughs> He's very humble about it as well. And so he could probably do more than one lesson in a day depending on how long and easy the lesson was for him. So you can adapt it to the child to get through what you need to, or if they're kind of done, you know you could set a time like we're only gonna do math for 30 minutes or something, and then wherever they are at that 30 minutes, you pick up on the other the next day. It's kind of up to you how you wanna do it and what works best for your child. But I'm just gonna go through and show you kind of the parts of the lesson and the things that I just really, really have been loving. So this is level two. So right here in this box, it's gonna tell you the lesson and then it's gonna give you some sort of review thing you could go over with your kids. We are not always great about doing this. It's more of an oral accountability 
So sometimes it's like skip counting by, skip count by tens backwards from 300 to 10. You know, and just kind of having them practice certain things or this one has the days of the month or not the days of the month, I think the months of the year. And then it has a skip counting chart as well. So there's some just some verbal type of review for them to go through before you get into the lesson and kind of just get into a math mindset, which I think is great. You can do it, you don't have to do it. And then it's gonna go into the lesson. And this is a little bit more uh, teacher intensive, you know, mom intensive, dad intensive, whoever's doing it. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's super heavy, but it requires a little bit of reading. They kind of incorporate things into stories, which I think is super fun for the kids. And the theme of the level three is a lot of it's based in Asia somewhere, China, Japan. And that's really fun too, because it's teaching a cultural aspect without really teaching a cultural aspect. You know, it just has it there as these background stories, which I think is really fun. And so you're gonna go through, you're gonna read to them and then I'll have some activities. Some of them are just like verbal responses back. Some of it they'll write on like a whiteboard. Some of it they'll fill in in the book. It just kind of depends on the lesson. But you go through it and then they usually have some sort of lesson practice from what they've just done. And somewhere, so this one is talking about time. So then you'll go over to this other page and they can fill in the time for those things, stuff that you've just learned. And that's kind of how level two is formatted. Level three is very, very similar. And I'll show you one of those lessons in a minute. But one of my favorite, favorite, favorite parts of this whole thing is the independent review. I love it so much. At the end of each section, there is an independent review section and it works so well. <laughs> it works so well for several reasons. So for Number one that I really love about it is if my kids, if I'm not ready to help them with their math yet and go through and read all this stuff to them, I can just say, go work on your independent review. And they, they usually can do most of that by themselves. They can read through it, you know, because it's reviewing stuff they've already done. So it's kind of easy for them just to go through and do it. And if there's stuff they're not quite sure about, I can explain it quickly and then go back. Whereas like the reading the paragraphs and teaching a new lesson takes longer. And then when I'm ready, you know, and have a moment, if I'm working with one child on math, then I'll be like, okay, do you, you do your independent review and then I'll come to you in a minute. So then I can go to them and work on the lesson. So sometimes, several times, we actually flip flop how they're doing it. They'll do their review first and then we'll do the lesson next. Just because of the day or if we have a busier schedule that day, and I need them to at least get started on their math, I can tell them to do their review. Because most of that stuff, again, they already know how to do it. And I just love that. I also love this because having a review of what they've learned is such a great way to remember things. It's so important, you know, you just stagger in a little bit here and there. You just kind of sprinkle it in and it helps them remember things so much better. And that was really hard for me in my last math curriculum. I wanted them to have review, but it was me that was having to produce what that review would look like. Whereas here, it's already done for me. <laughs> and I don't even have to think about it. And it does a really good job at taking stuff maybe from the last lesson or from several lessons before. So again, really creating this understanding of concepts they're being taught, which I have just really, really enjoyed about it. I think it's been so, so great. So let me just show you real quick a level three lesson so you can kind of get that idea. This one's actually gonna be talking about gallons and quarts, which I was just mentioning with those dice that I was like, oh, we haven't quite done this yet. But again, it has the review thing at the beginning and then some stuff to read. And the th level three, I think, has more reading. You know, again, it kind of is, it's adapted to development, you know, where the kids are at developmentally. So it works really well. And then they have an optional activity, which they don't always do, but sometimes they do. So you can go through that if you want to. And then some just other lesson things with talking about, okay, a swimming pool. How would we measure a swimming pool? <laughs> you know, with a gallon or a quart? Or how would we measure yogurt for two people? Like what's the most reasonable measurement? Which I think is just, it's harder for all of us to just kind of do that, to estimate that kind of stuff. and kind of getting them familiar with measuring, which 
is really good. I love to be in the kitchen. I'm a baker, I'm a cook. And so knowing these measurements is very important to me and it helps you with math a lot. So that's all really good. And then this one has distinct lesson practice. I don't think level two has the distinct like, oh, this is lesson practice, but this one does. So I have the reading at the beginning, then this is lesson practice on the stuff you just learned. This is what we're gonna take from it and try to practice it. So it's gonna go through all those things again, but have them apply it a little bit more to make sure that they're at least starting to understand it. And then later on, it will be in their review sections. So then they'll really come to know it. And then it has reviews and activities. And so, like I said, occasionally it's two, like it's two pages of review. And sometimes it's only one. It just depends, I think, too, on how big the pictures are. If there's a game included, you know, all those kinds of things might make the lesson longer or shorter. And so some of them, you know, three to four pages or two to three in the level two. But she's gonna go through this. So she's already talked about time. She's been talking a lot about expanded form. And that was like one of the first lessons. Okay, and here we are on lesson, what is this lesson? <laughs> 21. And it's still coming back in here, like, oh, reminder, this is what this is, so you don't forget it. So, so good, so good. There's so many books about this is really good memory device is this is the way to do it, is to bring those things back in after your brain has had a good while to forget them <laughs> and then just kind of jog that memory. So I really love that. And then it'll have a multiplication pra practice, which isn't in level two. It is in this level. Maybe it will be later in level two. I'm not really sure. And so it just has like practice for 10 minutes. And so we can do the musical multiplication or flashcards, whatever works. And then it has a few multiplication problems that she can go through and do. And she is getting faster at them, obviously, as she's practicing. And so it has all those things. And then there are a few things at the back. Most of them are like little pop-outs. So one of them that she has used so far with measuring is a yardstick. So we kind of took it apart to put it away. But they're like a little bit heavier paper in the back. So that's the only one we've used but there is a whole bunch more back here that you will pop out for different lessons which i don't know if that's in level two i honestly haven't looked i didn't even know it was in level three till we had <laughs> to use it but it doesn't look like it's back here but in level three there's several pages of these extra things and they they give them to you so they're right there again easy to access you don't have to go searching for something or a yardstick especially if you don't have one i don't think i have one growing up we had like billions of them. <laughs> but anyways, I have really, really enjoyed using this math, which is why I'm doing a review of it. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I have been liking it, and it has been working so well for my kids for different reasons. And I just think that has been so good for them, and the formatting of it, just being able to see what they're doing, and the review gives them confidence. You know, it's like, oh, this is stuff I already know, even though I learned a bunch of new stuff, I can review this stuff and I already know this and they just can feel good about themselves, which I really like about reviews because usually <laughs> it's something that you're more comfortable with doing and it makes you feel good that you at least know something that you did in math today and you're not completely clueless all the time. So that's my review. If you have other questions for me, I can try to answer them. <laughs> Please link, just put them down below in the comments. I'll put the website for the good and the beautiful down below to this mask. So if you want to check it out, you can. And if you enjoy seeing these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.